Hi guys, so today we're going to uh, do the assembling of the fly uh, for a pen. So I prepared two peas and we'll pretend it's, those are my fronts. Uh, you see notch here that I did V notch for you to see clearly and for you to see the emplacement of the notch according to the zipper length. So I'm placing the zipper tape right at the edge of the waist and the notch should be right over the, the metal stopper. I sewed already the bottom part, so where you have the notch, the bottom part I sew it face to face for the under lap. I'm going to turn it and I will go overlock this part also. For a pant, you're going to sew the crotch from the final point of the crotch to the knot. Okay, so sewing at one centimeter from the bottom of the crotch to the notch. With a back tag, very important to start with the facing piece, so the small piece, <coughs> face to face. So I put the waist with the waist, I put them together, and I'm going to assemble them from the waist down at one centimeter. Back tag at the beginning. So I'm folding the fabric, make sure I don't catch it. If at the end you have to go at 0.9 to make sure you don't grab other fabric, it doesn't matter. So you just make sure you don't grab any other fabric. But you sew all the way to the end of the facing. Back back. Next step is going to be to make your understitch. So seam allowance towards the facing and you're going to do your understitch at a millimeter from your seam. So one millimeter from the seam. Again you go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so you put this aside and you go with the facing, with the underlap. So you take your underlap, just to make sure you position it, your zipper on the right side. You place your zipper over the underlap, and you assemble it with the normal foot right next to the overlock. You don't have to go close to the teeth. You just have to do it very straight. So right next to the overlock, it's gonna grade your seam. Again, you're sewing all the way down to the bottom of the tail. So this is just to position it your zipper. Next step is going to be to assemble your underlap with the other 0.5 to 0.7 seam only. So we, we will create a little underlap to hide your zipper. So I'm putting the overlock right over the tape and I'm going to assemble my... Okay, so after changing the foot to the life, uh, to the right foot, uh, I'm going to assemble at 0.5 to 0.7. Even if you have a 1 centimeter seam allowance, you don't go over 0.7 seam to create a little underlap and hide your zipper. So I'm sewing, whoops, another blooper. And you don't forget to move your carrier up and down 
don't sew next to the carrier because it's going to wave your seam. So again, I'm pushing the fabric to make sure I grab only this side of the pan and I'm sewing down. The important is to go straight all the way. All the way down to my is you need that little space from the center from the center you should have here five three to five millimeter space that's going to hide your zipper because the center front is right here and now your fabric is over there because you sewed with five very close to the zipper again so I'm keeping my zipper, my right side zipper foot, and I'm going to top stitch very, very small, make sure it doesn't show. So I'm pulling on both sides to make sure my seam is open. Pushing the fabric so it's not in my way. And I go all the way down. See your little underlap. And you see what it's going to look like. See, it's going to hide completely the zipper. A pin or two. And you're going to go with your little uh, overlap parallel all the way up so you could pin a you could put a pin to hold it down at one or two place to guide you for the distance one or two and you flip the fabric and I flip the facing you could see the zipper now what you have to do is sew the zipper with the facing So we put the two pin to find out the distance from the tape to the overlock. It has to be parallel. So after you put just one pin to hold it down and the one you put on top you could remove. Uh, the normal zipper foot, it doesn't matter. The important is to keep it parallel all the way. Sewing all the way down to the bottom. So if we look at it from the top now, now the zipper is sewn to both sides. It's going to be to do the top stitch. So again, I'm just folding it properly to make sure my top stitch is hiding like that. You could again put a little pin to hold them together at the right position. And now you're going to do the top stitch, but you cannot do it on all layers. If, if you do that, your zipper won't open anymore. You need to sew only the facing with the front. Only the facing with the front. So you have to flip the underlap to do your top stitch. top stitch I could feel you can't but I could feel the layer of the fabric so I know exactly where is my facing so you could use that as a guide also Oops. 
So even for the curve, you will feel it. Very important at this point, you want to make sure you're not going to go over the middle stopper. And you're going to stop, I would say about 5 millimeter from the center front seam because of the little underlap. See my little underlap is all the way up to here, so that's the further I'll be able to go with my top stitch. If you go too far, you're going to grab with your seam, you're going to and tack the bottom part. This time with all the layers. So you hold your fly, your underlap, you hold your facing, and you go tag them together at the corner. Good work. So first thing, you should always test your zipper before putting it on. Here you go. And the little tack we just did, it's to make sure that the flap is staying on the right side. Alright, so your zipper is done.